Peggy 16. The collapse of the Star Union broke the chains of the enthralled Kirko, and the former slaves now swarm free. Destroying their way of life and breaking their hive mind did not break the will of the Kirko. Once the Star Union fell, the Kirko quickly rose to power on several worlds through hyperevolution and pillaging their fallen master's technology. The Kirko's hives grow quickly, allowing them to rapidly colonize new planets. Their units regenerate health quickly and develop mutations like cloaking carapace armor that can conceal them on the world map. To protect their territory, they can use Call of the Hive to spawn extra troops when they are threatened, and Noxious Bombardment to poison their enemies on the world map. They can also spawn Emergent Larva, which, should those larvae survive, will morph into stronger Kirko units. This, coupled with the fact that the Kirko have strong regenerative powers, can turn them into either a threat or a valuable ally on any contested world in the galaxy. The Kirko have a choice to make, retribution or reconciliation. Will they forgive the past transgressions of the other factions or deliver violent justice to even the scales? Both options are available in the tech tree and both offer powerful benefits depending on the choice of playstyle. In combat, the Kirko favor melee and units that operate in groups as they get a defensive bonus when units are positioned adjacent to each other called Swarm Shield. This ability helps their melee units take less damage when charging forward into ranged attacks. The Swarm Shield can be strengthened by going down the Kirko's bio-themed research tree. The Kirko field units, such as the Frenzied, a mainstay of the Swarm that can not only rip enemies to pieces with their claws, but can also utilize its area of effectability, Battle Vomit, that fills an area with corrosive acid. The Ravenous, a huge melee unit that can devour humanoid enemies and then hatch new Kirko larvae on the battlefield. The Tormented. Some Kirko still suffer from being ripped from the hive mind, but the Tormented turn this pain into a weapon by projecting their hatred into their enemies, breaking their minds with psionic attacks. The Unleashed supports the Hive as a low-flying scout, while the Abyssian can tunnel unnoticed across the battlefield and encase the enemy in wax cement. With a sense of lost unity from their shattered Hive mind, the Kirko now have to decide alone what future to pursue. They can unleash their pain to ensure the other factions suffer as greatly as they have, or they can seek to reconcile with the other inhabitants of a new world and work together to rebuild. 